We are at six. More than a third of behavioral health care is now prov being provided remotely through telehealth or telemedicine services. It's a practice that was frequently used during the COVID-19 pandemic. Joe McLean shows how it is now a vital resource in remote areas. A recent survey found that 38% of behavioral health care patients actually prefer telehealth visits to in-person ones. And providers I spoke to said that this medium is actually eliminating a lot of the barriers that people face when they're trying to get help. And as the pandemic wound down and the public health emergency is now over, we've seen that telehealth is still being utilized as it's integrated with the regular standard of care um, in our in-person visits. That's the director of the HHS's Office for the Advancement of Telehealth. That's the practice of conducting medical evaluations over the phone or video chat. To give you an idea of how much these types of programs have grown through the pandemic years, data from 2019 found that just under 40% of mental health treatment facilities were offering these services that had ballooned to almost all treatment facilities. Dr. Arpit Agarwal is a child and adolescent psychologist at the University of Missouri's health system. He says that behavioral health care in particular can be provided just as well online in most cases. If someone is having a condition, in that case, in-person uh, provider is recommended. But for the most uh, kind of not so serious, uh, mild to moderate behavioral health concerns, uh, telehealth is conducive. Importantly, providing behavioral health care remotely allows more patients to avoid a perceived stigma around mental health issues. It improves access to care for some patients that otherwise wouldn't go if they were worried about the stigma of going to an in-person appointment. I mean, when we talk about reducing stigma, increasing access to services is almost always the number one thing in how to address stigma. And obviously with uh, telehealth, the access is just there for everyone. If you want to explore options available to you, you can check out the Health and Human Services website or check with your health insurance plan to see the covered providers. In Columbia, Joe McLean, KY3 News.